In today's video, I'm going to show you the top three candlestick patterns with overall best performance in bull and bear markets according to science, meaning real market statistics. This video is based on the extensive research made by Thomas Bukowski in the book Encyclopedia of Candlestick Charts. If you're interested in learning more details about the statistics of candlesticks, I recommend that you purchase his book. Bukowski analyzed the statistics of more than 100 candlestick patterns in bull and bear markets of 500 stocks of the S&P over 10 years of data, totaling almost 5 million candlesticks. Before anything else, we must realize that there are different ways of measuring the performance of candlesticks. For this video, I want to focus on the candlestick patterns that have an overall good performance, meaning the patterns that work well in both bull and bear markets. Even though Thomas Bukowski's research is very comprehensive, I will add some extra details that I find to be important for the purposes of this video. According to the research, the top three candlestick patterns in overall terms are the bearish three-line strike, the bullish three-line strike, and the three black rows. For each of these three candle patterns, we'll analyze how to identify the pattern, the theoretical and practical functions, meaning whether the pattern is bullish or bearish, and if it is a reversal or a continuation, and whether the real market data agrees with the theory of the pattern, the logical interpretation of each of the three, the performance, meaning how many times it does what it's supposed to do, the frequency, meaning how frequently the pattern emerges in the market, and finally, specific tips on how to trade each of these top three patterns respecting basic risk management guidelines for long-term sustainability. Before we analyze each of the three patterns, it should be noted that past performance is not indicative of future results. All the information you see here is for educational purposes only. None of this information constitutes investment advice in any way. If you decide to apply the knowledge found here, you must do it at your own risk. Beyond the standard risk disclaimer, you should also understand that the performance numbers found in Bukowski's work don't necessarily mean that the candle patterns will achieve any target you choose. It's one thing to hit a target by the measure rule, meaning a target that is equal to the height of the candle pattern, but it's another to hit a target that has a higher risk-reward ratio. In other words, the performance statistics are not the same as the likelihood that your targets will be met. They reflect how price behaved after the pattern was found in the sample, the general behavior of the market after the pattern. In practical terms, if you see that a specific pattern behaved as a bullish reversal 83% of the time, for example, it doesn't necessarily mean that your profit target will be met 83% of the time. It means that, generally speaking, the market went up after the pattern 83% of the time. In some cases, that means a small reversal, and in some cases, that means a large one. With that said, we can move on to the first pattern, the bearish three-line strike. This pattern is formed by four candles. The first three are bearish candles, and the fourth is a bullish candle that opens with a small gap down and closes above the open of the first candle. The bearish three-line strike is classified as a bearish continuation pattern. In other words, it's supposed to signal a continuation to the downside after a downward movement. However, in practice, this pattern works as a bullish reversal, meaning that it signals a reversal to the upside after a downward price movement. As you can see, the theory diverges from the practice. We can clear this confusion by understanding the pattern logically. This pattern is considered to be a signal of bearish continuation in theory. The probable reason why that's the case is because the fourth bullish candle is seen as a correction of the previous downward movement caused by the three bearish candles. That's one way of looking at it. The way of analyzing this pattern in a way that matches the real market evidence is that the last candle makes it clear that buyers have assumed control of the market because one single candle can overcome the small gap down and three consecutive bearish candles. That is an extremely powerful bullish signal. So despite the original name, this pattern signals a bullish reversal because of that. Real market data shows that in bull markets, this pattern works as a bullish reversal 84% of the time. And in bear markets, it works as a bullish reversal 77% of the time. Even though the bearish three-line strike works well a lot of the times, it has one major disadvantage. It's a rare pattern. 
It appears less than 100 times in the massive data set of almost 5 million candles analyzed by Bukowski. Out of the 103 candle patterns, this one placed 94th in terms of frequency. In other words, one of the top performing candle patterns in overall terms is also one of the rarest. A long trade can be triggered at the open of the next candle with a stop below the low of the fourth candle in the pattern and a target three times larger than the stop ideally. One problem here is that since the trigger can be too far from the stop, price action must travel a great distance in order to hit a decent risk reward ratio. So the trader must assess if there is leeway for price to do that. Let's now move on to the second place, the bullish variation of the three line strike. This pattern is formed by four candles. The first three are bullish candles, and the fourth is a bearish candle that opens with a small gap up and closes below the open of the first candle. The bullish three line strike is classified as a bullish continuation pattern. In other words, it's supposed to signal a continuation to the upside after an upward movement. However, in practice, this pattern works as a bearish reversal, meaning that it signals a reversal to the downside after an upward price movement. As you can see, the theory diverges from the practice. We can clear this confusion by understanding the pattern logically, just like we did with a bearish three-line strike. This pattern is considered to be a signal of bullish continuation in theory. The probable reason why that's the case is because the fourth bearish candle is seen as a correction of the previous upward movement caused by the three bullish candles. That's one way of looking at it. The way of analyzing this pattern in a way that matches the real market evidence is that the last candle makes it clear that sellers have assumed control of the market because one single candle can overcome the small gap up in three consecutive bullish candles. That is an extremely powerful selling signal. So despite the original name, this pattern signals a bearish reversal because of that. The real market data shows that the pattern works in the opposite way it's supposed to. In bull markets, it works as a bearish reversal 65% of the time. And in bear markets, it works as a bearish reversal 83% of the time. The bullish three line strike is even worse than the bearish version in terms of frequency placing in 9050th place out of the 103 candle patterns. A short trade can be triggered at the open of the next candle with a stop above the high of the fourth candle in the pattern, and a target three times larger than the stop. One problem here is that since the trigger can be too far from the stop, price action must travel a great distance in order to hit a decent risk reward ratio, so the trader must assess if there is leeway for price to do that. The two variations of the three-line strike pattern are good and bad simultaneously. They work well if we ignore their theory and look at their interpretations logically. However, they are extremely rare patterns. That makes sense because the best opportunities tend to be less frequent than the bad ones. Another point of confusion is that the bearish three-line strike actually signals a long trade and the bullish three-line strike signals a short trade when we look at the way these patterns work in practice. That happens because the practice diverges from the theory of what these patterns should do. The third place in terms of overall performance in bull and bear markets goes to the three black rows pattern. This pattern is composed of three bearish candles with medium to large bodies. Ideally, the second and third candles should open within the body of the previous candle, but in my view, that's an unnecessary guideline. The three black rows pattern works as a bearish reversal both in theory and practice, meaning that the pattern appears when price is going up in order to signal a movement to the downside. In other words, theory and practice converge, which is a good sign. The bearish signal is self-evident in this case. Three consecutive bearish candles with decisive bodies occurring in an upward movement is a clear signal that sellers have entered the scene. In bull markets, it works as a bearish reversal 78% of the time, and in bear markets, it works as a bearish reversal 79% of the time. The fact that the performance is basically the same in bull and bear markets shows how powerful this pattern can be. It's not an incredibly frequent pattern, but it's a lot better than the top two variations of the three-line strike pattern as we just saw. 
This pattern ranked 60th place out of the 103 patterns in terms of frequency. The three black crows pattern is very simple to detect and understand, but it has a disadvantage. The pattern sometimes can be a small trend in itself, which means that the trading can be difficult because the logical stop loss placement may be too far away from the entry point. In any case, the trigger can occur at the open of the next candle and the stop must be above the highest point of the pattern with a target three times larger than the stop. The trader must assess if there is leeway for price to reach the target. Keep in mind that there are better patterns with better performances if we analyze specific market situations. Here we are analyzing the top performing candle patterns in overall terms, meaning the candle patterns that work well in bull and bear markets. Arguably, since the performance of the two three-line strike patterns in the three black rows is not that different, but the three black rows appear more often, it's safe to say that the three black rows pattern is the most reliable candle pattern in overall terms. It has a good performance in both bull and bear markets, and it appears relatively frequently, although it doesn't have great frequency. Another positive point is that the real market data matches the theory about the pattern, unlike the top two performance patterns. Another point to keep in mind here is that the performance and frequency of candlesticks were analyzed in isolation. You can certainly increase the win rate by combining the candle patterns with other tools in technical analysis, although there is a trade-off between win rate and frequency. The more tools you combine together, the rarer the setup, but the higher its win rate. In other words, the frequency of setups will decrease as the win rate increases along with the level of integration. This also means that the performance of other candle patterns that are inferior in isolation can be dramatically enhanced when combined with other tools. For this reason, the frequency that a pattern appears is as important as its performance. That's it for this video. If you always wanted to know what the best candle patterns are overall, now you know the answer. With that said, there are a lot of peculiarities once we analyze the statistics of candlesticks, but I will leave that for another video. If you wish to learn how to trade with the best tools in technical analysis, don't forget to check my premium courses in the video description. Don't forget to check the other free courses on my channel as well. If you enjoy the material I create, please help support the channel by clicking the like button, subscribing to the channel, activating all notifications, leaving your feedback in the comment section, and sharing the video. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next videos. Take care.